What's up, John Shred here, and today we're in the office. I wanna show you in a couple easy steps how you can mine Bitcoin with your home computer. Okay, first thing, you need to go to a website. Go to www.nicehash.com. Okay, click this green download button. It'll ask you which type of miner you want to download, NVIDIA or AMD. If you don't know what kind of video card you have, go to Device Manager, Display Adapters, it'll tell you right there. I have an NVIDIA, it's right here. Okay, install, agree, install should only take a couple minutes. Okay, when the install is done, run it. Read the fancy terms and conditions, put in this fancy number. As it loads up, it's gonna scan your computer. I'm not guaranteeing that every computer will be able to do this, but if you've ever played video games, you can have a decent video card, you'll be able to mine. See right here, it starts up. It says found compatible devices. It also tells me that my CPU is not compatible. I'm gonna hit don't show again. Okay, next is a wallet. Now you need to save your money somewhere. So if you click wallet, you can either use a nice hash account, so I have one, or you can enter your Bitcoin address. I suggest I use a mobile phone one uh, Jax or Coinami, both are awesome. Uh, you can get a, an address that way or create an account with NiceHash. That's it. Now hit the start button. It'll do a quick benchmark. It'll test your system. It'll go, okay, we found one graphics card and it'll kind of do a, do a scan, takes a couple minutes and then you mine. Okay, now that the mining benchmark's done, it starts mining. Notice this, this black screen, that's it working. It actually changes between different coins and then it just pays out in Bitcoin. It's pretty simple, it mines whatever it needs to, it works completely in the background. Pro tip, if you have a laptop, I do not recommend this. Your computer gets very, very hot. If you have a desktop computer, remove the side. It'll help it breathe better. Okay, you can see I'll earn approximately $3.50 US. We'll say we'll round it up to $4 Canadian a day. And I paid, I picked up this video card, this NVIDIA GTX 1080 for $600 Canadian used off Kijiji. So that's, okay, so $4 a day. Okay, let's do some, some quick math here. Okay, $4 times 30. It's $120 a month. So if we said that card costs $600, divide that by 120, five months. So the return on investment on that video card is five months. Not bad. Then every month after that, you're getting $120 a month. Try it on your system. Leave a comment below. Let me know if it worked. Does your computer have a CPU or GPU that works? Thanks again for watching. If you want to learn more about earning passive residual income, please subscribe. I'm here to pass along my knowledge so you can take action. See you next time.